So something I've noticed with my students is when there's a scale in a piece, but it doesn't start on the tonic, they get confused with the pattern. And I think this happens to all of us because we have muscle memory. So if you're starting on a C, but it's an F major scale, so F major, but if the scale is, you know, people get confused about the B flat because they expect. So I have other videos about geography of the fingerboard playing your scales all over, which I find incredibly useful and I include as part of my regular routine. But lately I also do this thing where I play the scale, all the notes in the position. So I'll show you how to approach this. Today my scale was F major. So if I'm in first position, you know, my scale would be. So when you're getting used to this, I would start with that and then add on until you run out of fingers in that position. And then go down. And then once you're used to it, you can start. So that was F major, but starting on G. And I do this in all the positions, like going up to seventh. So I'll give you an example. So that was F and then I'll do it in uh, second position. And you might want to go back to the tonic, it might help your ear. easy because it's fifth position and it's the scale. Minors, um, you can do these of course all in first position and if this is a new idea to you take it really slow you know just a basic um, you know do D major and try to go up think about the note and it will really help your feeling of facility all over the instrument. So I hope this was a helpful tip and I'm going to put it in both my scale tips playlist, uh, my violin practice playlist, and also my warm ups playlist because it's, um, it's a, I would warm up with some more basic exercises first and then include this kind of work as part of your regular scale routine along with the other things that you do. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.